Hello, and welcome to another brand new episode of Between Two Berms, the Omaha Storm Chasers podcast, where we talk about the Omaha Storm Chasers. I am your host, Scott Pop, joined by my... Didn't put a word. Hungover co-host, <laughs> Andrew Asbury. That is very true. Uh, we were up late last night watching the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. We sure were. Hey, were you happy about that? I, yeah, I was happy. It was, it was a very joyous occasion, probably a top five moment in my life. It wow. was incredible. Happy for you. You might have recognized one of the voices. Uh, we've had Rachel Rhea on before, um, but we're going to be talking about some promotions and theme nights today. Uh, with some, uh, also some mascots. Gotta love the mascots. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But we're also joined today by Alvin Garcia, uh, new to the podcast. He uh, came on last year with us to help with our Copa de la Diversion initiative. And, you know, I thought it ran much better last year. Oh, thanks. Uh, wow. The Omahans just didn't respond like we wanted them to. That's true. But I appreciate that, man. I mean, Coming from Albuquerque and El Paso and coming from a winning team to this, this is a challenge. I love challenges. All right. We have you both here to discuss some promotions and some theme nights. We are coming out with them uh, this week as we're recording this uh, with our recurring weekly promotions. And next week, we're going to start revealing some of our theme nights. So I thought it was perfect time to have you all on. And for our loyal listeners... They might get a little bit of a sneak peek. Privileged information. Yeah. Some they might will. It, well, nice. Some of this might not be coming out until after the podcast. So <laughs> you're getting... You're all the, special. Yeah. It's Come a very big deal. <laughs> so you guys, uh, do you have any background uh, or experience planning promotions at other uh, places that you've worked at? I'll start with Rachel. <laughs> uh, this is my first job in minor league baseball. So... A lot of this is newer. Obviously, I've watched it and I've been to minor league games. Overall principles of planning and executing promotions are uh, relatively the same, but definitely you can do a lot more in minor league baseball than you can't do at, let's say, Lambeau Field. Like some of this stuff, just one, it's a football field and you wouldn't see it. And two, it's a lot more tradition-based than having fun. But we're all about fun here at the Omaha Storm Chasers. The theme is is fun i was gonna year. say i feel like lambo's a little bit more buttoned up where yes. here we just like to let it all hang loose exactly and that's what i think <laughs> what i'm looking forward to the most is um doing those fun things that ideas that might get um put on the back burner somewhere else but i think we're we're willing to go for it and uh we're gonna go all out this year yeah for those oh. who uh paid attention to previous podcast of ours talking about some of our failed promotions uh that's not going to be rachel and alvin this year they're going to succeed at Ooh. all of these that's a challenge that's, but i'm here i love for this it. challenge let's do this let's revisit this in uh, september and see what <laughs> happened but yes <laughs> <Let's> but alvin <laughs> what about you that. and your couple stops here in minor league baseball <laughs> <laughs> well this is my fifth season in minor league baseball but originally i started my career with the el paso chihuahuas 2016 triple 18 for the san diego padres and then after that, I went to the Albuquerque Ice Stoves Triple A team for the Colorado Rockies. Then I came here. It's my fifth season here. Super excited. Did you do any like promotion stuff, theme nights? Yeah, that so sort of thing? with the El Paso, was, the El Paso Chihuahuas, I was their marketing communication assistant. So I did a lot of promotional stuff, in game stuff. Uh, had to market the English and the Spanish media. So that's helpful sometimes. Uh, Albuquerque. A little bit. I was in charge of their graphic design, but during games, I was in more in charge of the in-game stuff side. All right. So, Let's are there go. any uh, <laughs> any past promotions from like the Packers or the Magic or the Chihuahuas <laughs> or, <laughs> that you guys thought were great or particularly thought were funny or something? Oh, good question. Oh, I need to go back my memory bank. Uh, for Albuquerque, for me has to be the first time we introduced the Machi, the Nuevo Mexico. I mean, the whole skull with the little red bowl and everything. That was like a big turnout for us. Like we were not expecting thousands and thousands of people showing up to the ball game. Was that then like your your version of potholes? Yes, basically. Okay. All right. Basically. I mean, we sold out merch like in, I think it was two hours. So we had to reorder and Ooh. start taking pre-orders and all that stuff. And that day, we literally sold out all 50 states in two hours. 
That's unreal. <laughs> Can you top that, Rachel? <laughs> no. Plus Mexico. Probably the favorite one I got to work on was in Orlando. Literally one day, my boss came up to me. He was like, can you make some slime? And I had no other background. I was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> um, you don't have a slime background? What? Would you just know how to make slime? Yeah, right ap- applesauce, oatmeal, and well, Jell-O, Alvin right? knows how to. Yep, that wow. yeah, legit. yeah. You wow. see, I'm prepared for Apple this. Applesauce is the one. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I made some slime, and we did like a like a double dare type of game. You had me a double dare. Mm-hmm. Where like it, they had like a basket like with the rim on their heads, and then they had to like throw the bal- balloon with the slime. Um, so that was kind of wild. Ooh. But that I, was did you one like of my tarp it up or uh, oh yeah. Uh, we <laughs> were like we weren't on the court, we were on like behind the basket. Oh, okay. But still plenty of tarp. Um so that was a fun one that just kinda came out of nowhere that Ooh. I was in the kitchen making slime one day. Sounds like we the, should do that. The things you do for minor league baseball or really any sport for their promotions, just one day you're making slime, the next you're planning promotions. I don't know. <laughs> we yeah, should throw funny. slime from the press box. Just that'd be fun. <laughs> in front of everybody <laughs> behind the plate. Yeah. It's pretty just cheap dump to it make. There. Not very expensive. We should have a nice Nickelodeon thanks to that slime now. A double, like a legit double dare night. Ooh, I'm for it. Uh, table it. Let's let's see well, like see Nic- what the fans say. Someone has to write like this down. Pour the slime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can do that from the control room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of the flamethrower, just a, a push the button for s- getting slimed. Yeah, Ooh. last year I got to like drop down, um, like a golden snitch on a fishing pole. And oh, you're welcome, man. Very fun. You're welcome. We need to do more of that. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. You wait. So as you got to the Storm Chasers here, and, I mean, you started off hot and heavy. I mean, we're in the middle of our planning process. Uh, and Baptism by fire, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> Going to throw you in the deep end and hope you swim, uh, which you've been doggy paddling. You've been doing great. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. But, you know, your first impressions of uh, coming in here and kind of figuring out everything that we do. Uh, and what are you looking forward to most in the 2020 season and how you, how you've been planning it? Good question. (laughs) I think one of the more impressive things when I was doing my research and I was interviewing and then when I got here was potholes and I think everyone gets really excited about that one. I don't know what it is about that in particular that gets everyone so excited, but every time that gets brought up, I feel like people get hyped probably because it was so fun for you guys last year. Something new, something <laughs> refreshing. It was just weirdly, like, it was the most organic promotion I think they've ever done here. It was just totally fan appreciation and engagement, and we just turned around in less than three weeks and planned an entire promotional and night like, around it. It was great. So it was very successful. Yeah. That that was very um, exciting and intriguing to me. Alvin, what about you? What are you most excited for this year? Uh, Great question. I mean, I guess it has to be the whole mascot thing. I mean, this year's the mascots are planning something different this year. I think they're going to dress up for each team night. I don't know which team night Stormy has told me, but he's really excited. He has his costumes. He has to catch up, get those costumes ready to go. He's been practicing some skits. Yeah. Him and uh, Sue. How do you communicate with mascots? They don't talk back very well. Well... That's not a lot of feedback. <laughs> that's why you have to go get a four-year degree. Just kidding. No, um, <laughs> actually, it's uh, a lot of sign language and a lot of whiteboard writing and, and that erasing. And legitimate sign language, you know, like a made. It's a gibberish <laughs> sign language. <laughs> a lot of pointing and gestures. Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's just like a met. It's like one of those X-Men thing. Like he reads your mind and you read his mind, and you can just be like, "Oh, I get you." Okay. So I guess kind of what goes into planning each of these nights for you guys? Let's take for an example uh, a Star Wars night. What do you have planned for Star Wars night? And how soon do you start planning for it? Obviously being so many, like much your length of time before it actually happens that you start planning for it. So probably starting mid-December. One of the challenges I think for me this year is I didn't create the promotion calendar. So I wasn't in those meetings. So there was a lot of brainstorming and things that have been done before that I just don't know about, quite frankly. So I have to have um, additional brainstorm meetings, which are good, and they are definitely very helpful. So honestly, in mid-December, we started the brainstorming for the first two homestands, and pod- or not pod- Star-, Star Wars is included in that. So honestly, I started gathering ideas and information mid-December. So that's a good five months ahead of time, and now I'm kind of going through every two weeks we do a new homestand. So that's 
really the timing with where I start. Star Wars, we're uh, we're in the we got some characters that will be out there at the ballpark. Five O First Legion. Correct. We're definitely trying to get some costumes for our mascots. Trying to incorporate them, make some skits, and possibly a video or two. So stay yeah. tuned for that. We uh, Maybe a we had a appearance. lot of trouble uh, with those jerseys. We no. did. We have a specialty <laughs> jersey. God. That's a Can story. I just point it's out, it, when I submitted it, we got a quick response. Yeah, it was we never had that before. It was like approved any teams. by the MILB. It was approved by Lucasfilms, uh, our design. And then a month later, oh, by the way, it's not approved. This is... Uh, and that was like two days after I knew that they had been sent to, like... To print. Pr- pr- yeah, yeah to production. Bruce. And so I didn't have a great moment of reaction <laughs> but we figured it out we got it reapproved rel- relatively quickly it was only like wow. a day later which was nice um but yeah so uh like the jerseys and tell us you like them <laughs> yes inflate my ego as much as possible I was gonna say, <laughs> scott had a quick turnaround on them and i was very impressed for what we did have was the o bolts yeah. over the darth maul uh pattern we cool. ended up switching that up to just omaha text uh Pretty much on his forehead instead. I think it turned out pretty well. I yeah. I'm here for it. I'm uh, impressed with your your skills. Thank you. <laughs> I'm flattered. Like I said before, we're going to be releasing some of these uh, theme nights and promotions very shortly. Uh, but one thing that I think had a lot of legs last year, uh, it was our first year doing it, was Pride Night. Um, it's a night that we come out and uh, support that. LGBTQ community uh, and all the organizations in the Omaha area uh, come out and they have some of their own tables uh, and doing some of that stuff and and I, I really liked the night last year and I think it uh, has a lot of legs for this year. Um, I'm pretty excited yep. for that one. June 4th. Uh, and then literally a day after that we have Super Women Night. We have quite a stretch of uh, <laughs> oh. Pride Night June 4th, yeah. Super Women Night June 5th, Runs That's the night, night June 6th. That is quite a homestand so be here yeah <laughs> that's all i gotta <laughs> say well super women night uh first time we're doing this on the same night as uh girl scout uh night anybody who's familiar with that we have a girl scout night and we have a boy scout night and they come over and sleep on the field overnight and camp out um but super women night brand new this year uh, yep. i'm gonna celebrate some of the Super uh, heroine women in uh, DC, Marvel, wherever. Uh, hopefully get get some of those characters out here, too. There's a rumor that, you know, Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel will be there. Ooh, I like that. And Wonder Woman uh, it, comes out that day? Yeah, Correct. Yeah, I believe it does. Right. It does. It does so, indeed. Good so timing. She's but <laughs> but she's, her movie is getting released, but yeah. she's going to be at a Storm Chasers game. So. Yeah. yeah, forget that Hollywood premiere stuff. <laughs> yeah. but she's coming to Werner Park. Exactly. Hey, she's Wonder Woman for a reason. She can do both. She might be in 800 different places. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Going down the list here, we got Arcade Night, which Ooh. we've named a couple different things over the past couple of years. First, uh, first year, we called it Fortnite Chasers Royale, something like that. Um, it was a, essentially a Fortnite night. And we had, Fortnite night. <coughs> we had a Twitch, famous Twitch player in the area, Dr. Lupo, come out. Wow. Uh, longest autograph line I've ever seen for a single person ever. And I'm not exaggerating. There were so many youths out here. The all youth. the youths. Wow. All the youths. The game had been delayed. It was delayed by like a, an hour, 30 minutes. Yeah, that was, yeah really? It was, wow. It was a while. We had to cancel the skydivers. Like oh. in Fortnite, you have the skydivers that go into <laughs> the map. We had skydivers for that. We had all these other plans to theme out that night. And then last year, we called it... Uh, e-sports e-sports, e-sports night. Oh. E-gaming, e-sports. Something. Uh, I think but it was e-sports. E-sports night. Bellevue yeah. University partnered with us last year, and they have their own e-sports program. It's like any athletic sport that you can think of in NCAA. Uh, it could be basketball, football, whatever, but they have eSports, uh, which my dad growing up would always be like, stop working out your thumbs on the video games all the time. Uh, <laughs> go outside and do something else. And I was like... But he's regretting it now. Yeah, <laughs> I could have been an eSports star had I continued. Oh, this one's a fun one. Which one? Which one? Imaginary Friend Night? Imaginary Ooh. Friend Night. Let's talk about it. Let's, Let's um, talk about it. <laughs> We've thrown a few things out there. It's not completely set in stone, but correct. All all the possibilities bring up to the table here. What can, what can I want to get change. one food items, 
some buy one get one tickets potentially for you and your imaginary friend invisible We're hot dogs who knows maybe looking to break uh, an attendance record yes potentially Ooh, yeah. hopefully well, that that's the goal i mean who doesn't want to watch their imaginary friend play some promotional games on the field <laughs> That'll be interesting. I will, <laughs> die. I will <laughs> die if we have a promotion on the field and there's literally no one there doing anything. Oh, oh. That is what Scott's going to be yelling. Gonna All right, get them off, get them off, get, get them off, off the field. field. We can't tell if they are or not. <laughs> the day after the Imaginary Friend Night, we get to celebrate Father's Day oh. for once in a while. And we have a little giveaway item for we that. Sure do. What is that? A little oven mitt. A little, little, little oven mitt? A little oven mitt. <laughs> some Storm Chasers colors. <laughs> So I saw that idea and I go, I mean, it's perfect for like grilling or like frying stuff up, like the perfect dad meal. Uh, it's definitely used, uh, usable for those things. Frozen pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mom's, mom's out of town. All right, kids, we're getting pizza. <laughs> Got to have that oven mitt to get it out of the oven. Our staple daddy, daughter, princess night uh, always has a good following. Uh, we've had a little bit of a princess package the f- past few years, tea party, stuff like that. Princess characters come out, like most nights, most theme nights. They'll be out taking pictures with all the little kids. But one of my favorite recurring, like, weekly promotions uh, is Bark in the Park. Oh, yes. And new this year, we're going to do some Bark in the Park giveaways. What? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> uh, a little bow tie for yeah. your, your friends. Fancy places to take them. Christmas dinners. All I that mean, stuff. yeah, they got to be able to dress. Yeah. Dress for the party. And then a nice little collapsible travel cup. No matter where they go, if they get thirsty, you Man. can have your storm chaser cup with you. And get We're going green water. here. Well, We're and going green. Alvin, you worked the dog table last year, right? How was that? Oh, it's amazing. I mean... You meet these dogs, and then they just come to you, and then you forget about everybody. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a bad job for me because I would 100% just play with the dogs and then forget all I mean, my work I mean, you meet, like, every single dog you see, like, from little chihuahua dogs to, like, I think we had a great dame last time. It how, was, big, how big was it? I don't know, the size of a cow, maybe. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> and uh, the funny thing is it was black and white, spotted. And literally, I thought it was a cow when they were coming by. I was like, <laughs> why is there a mini cow coming this way? And then they're closer to a guy. It was a great day. And I was like, oh, what's his name? And they're like, like you know, it's Moo. I was like, oh, my god! Wait, what? <laughs> it's Moo? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Wait. It's like, yeah, because it looks like a cow. So we call it Moo. Honestly, I, was I would like, do that. Oh, huh, okay. I'm here for that bit. Call it like Bessie or something. Like more of a traditional farm name. <laughs> <laughs> Not Moo. Well, it's a little too pointed. We we had a beagle last time. They call it Snoopy. I, mean, I was like, oh, okay. Good. Well, that's pretty good. A dog walk. But that's gonna be every Wednesday this season. So uh, if you miss one Wednesday, no worries. It'll be back the next Wednesday. Yeah. And the next. Correct. A big change this year in our weekly recurring promotions are Friday fireworks have been moved to Saturdays. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a big deal. It's kind of been a tradition for a long time uh, to have Switching fireworks on Fridays. Up. I don't know if it was because of the alliteration. It was just easy to say Friday Honestly, fireworks. Honestly, that's why I'm a little disappointed in the change because <laughs> it just doesn't sound as good. It doesn't. It doesn't roll I off the I guess it could be like a Saturday spectacular. Yeah. It's, there you I mean, go. It's a good there you one. Go. That's a good one. Add, add, add that write to it down. Someone I'm write, really good someone at write this out, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's flowing today for you. Thirsty Thursdays are back. Uh, Two dollar beers, and then we have one dollar uh, one dollar Pepsi products. Yeah, yeah one dollar Pepsi products, uh, and then we also have fireworks again, uh, starting when June. That's when it is. Yes, you are correct, Andrew. Well, that's that's something for fans to look forward to, especially in those group outings. Uh, not only do you have the beer specials, but you also have something to look forward to at the end of the night with fireworks. Same thing as always. Our family fun day Sundays are back. Uh, it's a very kid-friendly day, uh, but this year with our high V canned food Sunday, uh, they have to bring in three cans this year instead of just two. Uh, so that's three cans to get one ticket to go sit out on the berm. Pretty great deal, honestly. You get like yeah. find a sale, get like three twenty-nine cent mushrooms or something, and just you're not gonna eat the mushrooms. I know Scott's not gonna. And eat you're the helping mushrooms. more people. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. everything's for a good cause. Something else that's new. So many new things this year. Oh, my gosh. Fridays, we moved, obviously, fri- fireworks to Saturday. 
uh, what do we have to kind of take its place on Fridays? We have some music. Uh, it'll be kind of clo- more on the concourse closer to gate one. Yes. Gate one. That gate is that one. gate. Um, <laughs> so when you're coming in, we're going to have some, some nice tunes playing for you, some live entertainment. Yeah. So speaking of music, uh, Bands and Brews is back. Ooh. But it's expanded even more, and it's every Saturday. Is that right? It sure is. Every Saturday <laughs> night. How, do, how is planning for all of those acts <laughs> every single Saturday? You have to plan. You have to book those people. Sure How's do. that? <laughs> we're working on it. We're about halfway there. Um, luckily, our our president is in demand. So not only will he take a few dates, he uh, also knows a lot of people to reach out to. Our president, Marty Cordero. I was trying to yes. Say, <laughs> you just like search Facebook for like a bunch of local bands. So um, how, do, how do you do that? So I I started with some of Marty's contacts, and then I went to some people we've had in the past that we've had good reviews and like, um, yep. and then I definitely opened it up to other people who might have known band or anyone. Uh, one of our coworkers' uh, dad's best friend is in a band, so we checked him out. But yeah, I definitely look him up. I don't just. You know, go off Book opinion up. alone. Yeah, I got, I got to <laughs> see. Fun thing on runs a night. Talk about the giveaway. Oh, Ooh. this I think was Alvin's idea. Yes. So Ooh. he definitely started this process of uh, an umbrella hat. Yeah, it's with funny. Some it, I mean, us. all right, let's be honest. If we all get the sun, we need an umbrella. I I burn. Oh, very I easily. burn well, very see, easily as well. It's useful. It's not just to go to a ball game. You go to the beach. It's something I could see taken to the Lake of the Ozarks, too. Well, there you go. Going but out, have you ever out. had a run to Alvin? <laughs> no. Ah. Okay. Sorry. I also oh, have I'm not. sorry. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it at some point. Let's do it. It's just. Together. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so loyal to Whataburger. I'm sorry. Hashtag it's, sponsors. It's, it's nowhere close to like a different kind of burger chain. It's a very unique item. Uh, it's some, amazing. Some people call it. Like a hot pocket, and I would disagree slightly. It's much better than a hot pocket. At least the really? bread, the, it's mm. it's more the like a roll. hot pocket. Yeah, yeah. The like the fancy hot pocket, I guess. But it's and they're all over this. It's an Omaha staple uh, umbrella hat. Yeah, <laughs> and it's all over the umbrella hat. You're gonna love it. Uh, if you like the fanny pack last year. You're yeah, it is exactly hat. for sure matching set. Yes. There you go. You please, see? please come with the fanny pack, and then you'll add this to your ensemble. Uh, my favorite thing to talk about when it comes to promotions is bobbleheads. Um, I Good thing we have three this <laughs> year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something that I feel like most of these were planned out before you got here as well. Yeah. You just kind of had to pick it up and roll with it. But, uh, Sorry. I got to order them. That's <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, but I notified the players, at least a couple of the players, of their bobbleheads. Um, one of which, it's his first bobblehead ever. Ooh, uh, which one? Bubba Starling. Ooh, interesting. Bubba Starling is going to have his own bobblehead, um, and it's going to be called Bubba Fett. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh-huh. Like the bounty hunter from yep. Star Wars. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Famously, <laughs> my idea in Mount Asbury's. Uh, I don't know about that one. Oof. No. Um, Damn. It was Asbury's. <laughs> <laughs> no, last year I was pretty happy to at least contribute on one of the bobbleheads. One of them was my idea. This year, uh, a couple more of my ideas uh, came to light, and I was I was pretty happy about that. Whether they're good or bad, I, it's, it's up to you. But uh, I was pretty happy with them. Uh, but Bubba Fett, that's going to be one, um, and that's going to be May fifteenth. Uh, May fifteenth. Yeah. So that's you. I it it's funny. I either like very much know the answer right away off the top of my head or someone will ask me and be like uh i have no idea so i usually have this on me at all times so the next bobblehead as we scroll down here uh, is june 19th uh this is a rising star in baseball uh adalberto mondesi it's his first bobblehead here I'm, i don't know if it's his first bobblehead ever I, he's the one player i haven't contacted yet um I was pretty excited about this he, one. It'll be a nice little sliding position. Yeah. yeah. That one, I'm, I mean, I'm here I've never for seen it. that before, so I'm a little excited to see that one. A little bit of an action, kind action of an action shot, pose. Yeah. 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 Similar to what we did with uh, Draw Dyson. Yeah, a couple of years ago for our 50th season. That was uh, Draw Dyson, right? Yeah, that was yeah. Draw. He, he was in a sliding position, and his, uh, his little uh, legs moved, yeah, his yeah. calves <laughs> and legs yeah. moved a little bit. Um, but this one has a, a cool feature. His helmet's popping off as it sometimes does as he's flying around the bases uh, and his dreads are just flowing in the air 
uh, as he's sliding into third. Supposedly it's a triple. I don't know. You can say whatever it is. <laughs> um, and then our last bobblehead of the season is on Witches and Wizards Night. Yeah. Um, and I when I contacted this player, he had already had a bobblehead at a lower level. It, it might have been Wilmington or uh, or Burlington, one of those two places. Mm-hmm. Um, but he hadn't had a themed one yet. And I told him it was Harry Potter related. Uh, you were a wizard with the glove. And he goes, you guys are killing it. <laughs> and just laughing emojis. Uh, I hear that. But it is Nicky Lopez on a broom with his glove extended. Uh, and there's a reason we didn't choose that one to tease on our bobblehead silhouette. Uh, because when you black everything out, uh, ah. and it's just him riding a broom. It's not a good visual. <laughs> 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 Wasn't great, but uh, I was pretty excited about this one too. That's uh, that's one thing I think has been pretty popular with bobbleheads the past few seasons is the themed bobbleheads. It's not the traditional uh, baseball pose, but we're trying to incorporate them into pop culture and different things. Another brand new theme night. This one I personally do not like at all. Because I am deathly allergic to them. Are you and really? despise them as animals. <laughs> Maybe you get an off night that night. But uh, <laughs> yeah. what, are, what are we doing on uh, a little, August little, 31st? A little cat theme game. So take me out to the ball game. Get it? But um, <laughs> Get it? Take me out. That's right. Bring your cats <laughs> to the ballpark. I don't want I don't want to beat that table, please. How disastrous could this be? I mean, Ops is a little concerned. They are very concerned. <laughs> I, I see Steve a lot just walking past in the hallway, and every time he looks at me and goes, take me out, it's going to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might see all four of us. Well, maybe not Scott, because I don't want him to die. Um, oh, thank you. Chasing some hurting, cats <laughs> hurting cats. Literally the expression, hurting cats, August 31st. Be oh, here. Man. They have to be on a leash, though. A leash or yep. a travel carrier. Yeah, just like a carrying kennel, something like that. Um, but honestly, I think it's pretty cool. I think some of the cat uh, cat owners are going to love it. Uh, I, yeah, because cause it's not fair, I feel like, that you can take your dogs a lot of places, but your cats aren't welcome. For we're, good we're reason. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a cat person, so can someone do the table for me, please, that night? Hard pass. Scott. <laughs> Scott Pop, can you do the table for me, please? All you have to do is just sign a waiver. That would be very cruel. I'm like a little... I didn't know that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, maybe you get... I think we might need to give him an off day. Or we could put him in the a show. bubble, though. Put him in a bubble. That bubble boy? Yeah. Do you have like allergy meds you can take beforehand? Yeah, they don't really help. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be running the show that day. <laughs> <laughs> Scott will be watching at home. I'll seal the door and let no one up here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a, a little game where Alvin will be competing with Asbury to see how many of this thing they can name in 15 seconds. Oh, Are you okay. ready, Give Alvin? Give me a clue, at least. Give nope. me like five seconds that's, advantage. That's cheating. Oh, man, come on. All right, are you ready? Name as many car brands as you can. Starting Car brands? Car brands as you can, starting now. Oh, uh, Ford, Jeep, Chevy. Um, Porsche, Ferraris, ooh, <laughs> Honda, Hyundai, Toyota. Not bad, not bad. You got eight. Man, in 15 you, seconds. I was expecting something simple like colors or animals. That'd be too easy. Oh, that's. I mean, it's better than car brands. <laughs> All right, you got eight. Remember that number. All right, don't tell me the subject yet. But how many did you get? Eight. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm very nervous. (laughs) I think you'll get it. All right. You ready? No, but let's do it. All right. Name as many car brands as you can in 15 seconds, starting now. Ford, Toyota, uh, Honda, Hyundai, uh, Mazda, uh, Chevy, uh, Dodge, uh, God, um... Japanese ones. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Furry. Damn. No, no, no. That Woo! was seven. You lose. Firm, firm, firm. Well, That's Alvin, right. congratulations. You win a nothing. trophy. Oh. <laughs> you, <won that. laughs> you get a goldfish. Either way, thanks for joining us, Alvin. No, thank you for inviting me. 
Thank yeah. for everything. Did you enjoy your first podcast? I did. Hopefully, I get another invite. Talk we'll about see. mascot. <laughs> my <laughs> life. My life in Mexico. We could. There we go. We could do that. Let me know. All right, we'll do. Thanks, Rachel, for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. It's always a pleasure. Make sure and follow us on all of our social media feeds, OMA Storm Chasers on Twitter, Omaha Storm Chasers on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for all those youths. And we haven't put out a bite yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Uh, Vine 2, as some might call it. But keep on a lookout for it. Make sure to give us five-star reviews. Leave a comment if you would like to do so. And uh, check out our promotional uh, calendar as we release it in the next few weeks. We're... We'll have videos almost every day um, just going over each of these nights and these things. And single game tickets are now on sale. So pick out your favorite theme night. Pick out your favorite giveaway. Uh, you can buy your tickets now. The weather's starting to warm up a little bit. I'm sure there's probably going to be another cold spell at some it's point. It's basically baseball season. Yeah. I mean, spring training's right around the corner. Uh, literally can't wait for baseball. Uh, but yeah, single game tickets on sale. So get them. All right. Say bye, Asbury. Okay, bye. We'll see you next time on Between Two Birds. <laughs>